Hey everyone, my name is Yu Yu. I am a year two fine arts student here at Norwich University of the Arts. And I'm here to share with you today my experience participating in a collaborative project. So for our unit, we are encouraged to collaborate with different people, either in your course, in uni or outside uni. We were given the opportunity to collaborate with K1 University from South Korea. I thought it would be an interesting opportunity to participate in, especially working with people who aren't studying uh, in the fine art major and generally just people from other countries and other places. The brief for the project was to create a room. The theme and um, what's in the room is depend upon the group ourselves so we have a lot of freedom in terms of what we're putting in, how does the room look like, um, what is in the room, and the only real limitation on this project is we're using a online platform called Art Steps. Um, with the COVID restrictions, obviously, and because England and Korea is very far away, it's and we're unable to put up like a physical show. However, there are good things about using an online platform, and it just makes it a lot more accessible and versatile when it comes to setting up and all that fun stuff. There are five groups within this project and in my group we decided upon the theme daily. We left that theme quite open-ended so it allows more different creative flows flows in obviously because everyone is majored in a different kind of medium or kind of topic etc. So now I will walk through with you guys how this exhibition look like. So for you first walk in the room, you can see our introduction written in both Korean and in English. And then to your left, um, you would see one of our group mates Lorraine's artwork. Um, so for her artwork, she decided to use a free short video demonstrating three different aspects of her life, kind of like the morning and then her working on a computer. And if we go further down, you can see like her and enjoying Netflix in her downtime. And then right next to Lorraine's artwork is my work. So um, on one side, I showcased three different photographs that I've taken around Norwich because photo is one of my favorite medium to use just to capture instinct moments, colors and emotions, etc. And if we go to the other side, there is another artwork that I did using oil pastels to kind of draw out like em emotions, feelings that I encounter during the day. And if we move slightly this way, you can see Min's artwork. So she uses digital painting to illustrate like three of the things that she does during the day. Um, one of it being um, enjoying time with her dog, another being like her really tired in the morning, and then the last one is, if we can just change to this angle, it's her having her breakfast. Yeah, and then if we move over here, and then this is Kim's work. So she did, I believe it's oil pastel paintings as well, of different moods, including the sunrise, the sunset, and then midnight. They're quite abstract, color-based paintings, and personally, I love them a lot. And then last but not least, this is um, Shin Ho's artwork. So he uses um, digital drawing to kind of draw out different moods that he experienced during Corona. With him gazing out, hoping to be able to go out, check in on his phone, and trying to see if any of his friends is finding him. And then the last one, if we can just move over here. And then it's him really wanting to go out, but the current situation doesn't allow. And we move to the other side. As you can see, there are posters and t-shirts. Um, since students that we collabed with from K1 University majored in kind of marketing, design, more graphic aspects, very talented and created a set of icons, logos, and posters for us. So essentially, they are breaking, they look like an infinity symbol, kind of an eight as well, because there are eight hours apart between Korea and the UK. And she thought it would be interesting using um, contrasting colors representing daytime and nighttime. We thought it would be fun to also have our like hypothetical merch line. I suggested perhaps we can make some t-shirt mock-ups as artworks. We're able to just kind of like put it up on the wall and create like a little shop of our own. And if we go to the other side of that wall, you would be able to see kind of like other colors of 
how does the poster look like and then how does the icons all look like etc as you may aware or may not all of our walls are not plain colors or plain wallpapers it is because we hope to kind of showcase how our room might look like but with the limitations of art steps um, we decided to make it as a wallpaper so then we each drew our own kind of a side of our own room and then combined it together and so then it kind of looks like our actual rooms and also including this like kind of cozy clustered very um realistic close to you kind of environment yeah that is pretty much the walkthrough for um the exhibition of my group so throughout this whole experience there are many challenges but we're able to overcome that eventually through communication and getting to know one another so then the main challenge for me is really the language barrier so personally even though i am also an international student i've lived in the uk for quite a while i would say i'm really comfortable using english as a language to, to do daily conversations discuss have meetings with people however um not all students from korea are very comfortable in using the language you can try to adjust perhaps the speed of how i speak and then double checking with one another and see are we on mutual agreements of decisions that we have made and also another thing is encourage them to really raise opinions but also encouraging myself to raise opinions because since it is a collaborative project our opinions raised between each other is really important and it's really valuable to have opinions from all members of the group and um, it's also a very valuable experience being able to collaborate with people from a different university people studying a different course because they are great experience and they're really close experience to how a real world workplace would be like i've gained both professional skills in terms of installing artwork digitally creating um, resizing digital artworks scanning but then also transferable skills including communicating with my team Teammates, um, having that commitment and being responsible working with my teammate as my teammates really relies on me and I also rely on them and finally please feel free to check out on our NGUA Fine Art Instagram because there are five different groups that participated in this K1 project um, if you are interested it will be really valuable for all of us on team that you check out our instagram look at our posters have a look at our digital space uh, feel free to ask me any questions on unibuddy i am a student ambassador at norwich university of the arts so feel free to pop me a message if you have anything regarding student life how is it like to be an international student in norwich questions about the course etc and um, feel free to also follow my instagram thank you guys for tuning in and i would love to hear anything from you guys and see you next time bye